Hey guys, and welcome back. And if you're new here, thanks for joining us today. So today's video is something that we were hesitant about sharing. I mean, I wanted to share because I thought it would be funny, but then Lou didn't want to share because she's like, people are going to judge us, but I think it's important to share for a few reasons. I thought it was the other way around. No. I thought I was it? the one that came up with the idea we should do a video and talk over it. After I convinced you to do it, then you're like, okay, fine, let's talk over it at least so that we can make fun of each other or whatnot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think it's important because one, what's the main purpose why we want to share this? So that you don't make the same mistakes we make. <laughs> GPS gone wrong. <laughs> um, and then two... Trust the person outside of the vehicle. I was too caught up in my own irrational fears. So. It's <laughs> a bit harsh. I, I mean, yeah, I will talk about it as it's happening, why it's irrational. <laughs> so, um, oh, an overview. What is it that happened? Right. So we were traveling from, uh, I believe it was Columbus, Texas, uh, Thousand Trails to the Whitney uh, Lake Whitney. Lake Whitney. Lake Thousand Whitney, Trails. Thousand Trails. And um, I, I was a passenger. Uh, Angie drives the morning shift, uh, basically, and I drive the afternoon shift. And um, Karen, uh, her and I don't have a great relationship, uh, but Angie and her have a good relationship. For those that don't know, Karen is the name of the Google Maps lady. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So Angie has a good relationship with her, which means that she trusts Karen. To tell her where to go and what to do. Uh, I don't. I look through the map. I analyze it. I figure out which way I want to go or I don't want to go. And then her and I argue the rest of the way. <laughs> but Angie was driving. And usually what I try to do is if Angie's driving and she selected a route, I don't get involved. You have to trust the driver. That's the person navigating. So they pick the route. You trust. Cross your fingers. Hope for the best. And um, started telling us to go down this road. Old Railroad Road. Mm -hmm. Which was like, that doesn't sound familiar. That doesn't sound like the route. I'm like, well, that's what she's saying to do. So mm -hmm. that's what we're going to do. Yeah. So this is where the story begins. Let's plus, press play and let's watch together. <laughs> okay. So Karen was routing us through an eight foot wide bridge mm -hmm. on old railroad road. Right. And how wide are we? We're 7.6. So that is like barely, you know, making it. So Lou got out so that she can guide me. I'm doing it. I'm doing and it. what I did is I walked the trailer, oh, the so width nice. of the trailer. We should explain this. Before okay. Road, no, go ahead. Go ahead. We, I walked the Fine. width of the trailer and I, I don't remember how many steps it was. And then I walked the width of the yes. of the uh, bridge, and I I'm saw listening. that I my wheel. we would get through. More? Um, oh, okay. And then I got off, and I started telling her, "Move forward, move forward. Come on, move forward. You're okay. Move forward." More? Um, you know, a little bit this way, a little that way, but she really wasn't taking instructions. Yeah. So this part here, where she's telling me to come over more, for some reason, hence my irrational fear, I'm gonna fall off. <laughs> The truck is just going to fall off this road and we're going to roll down into the water. Obviously, it's irrational because there's a rail there. So the car will bump into it and I would stop. There's rails um, and, and, and that particular so bridge is like, um, it's like asphalt, concrete. All, the roads we were on prior to getting there were all dirt roads. <laughs> and there were several signs on the way there that said like there's an eight foot bridge. Yeah, there was like two or three signs. Yeah. There were two or three signs. But I'm I didn't think that... One, like, I, can't go I guess it didn't really click that it was really going to be eight foot or that we were going to have a turn well, no, before that. Like, we're not going to be on the eight foot bridge. Karen's not going to do that to us. We're going to get rerouted before we hit that. Karen doesn't um, know we're towing a trailer. Yeah. Karen thinks we're in the car. But we didn't get rerouted before. And, um, and I'm telling her, come on, come on. It's okay. Come on. Lexi, come on. Lexi, and she's just like, not like, she's like literally like an inch. And I'm like, come on, come on. You're okay. Let's go. <laughs> And she was just like, and I'm telling her, turn, turn to this way a little bit, turn that way. And she's just not doing anything no. I'm asking her to do. I was, she's, I was, yeah, I was scared that I was going to fall off. Um, at one point she's like, let me just drive. And I'm like, impossible for me to open this door. And she could have just out moved right over. Now. She didn't yeah. have to open the door. She could have just Do moved over and I could have crawled in. 
but you know once you get into that like yeah fear. mindset you it's very difficult to get out she was basically flight or fight is yeah. what she was in and i just no matter what instructions i would give her i mean it took us i don't know like 15 minutes <laughs> for something that should have taken us like three um and then this road before you get to the bridge for like a good few blocks maybe three or four blocks it's a very narrow road mm -hmm. and um it basically falls on both sides it's like a cliff so you can't really do a u-turn mm -hmm. or even back up what is it called like a three-point yeah. turn or whatever back up to turn back out there's no space for that it's super narrow yeah you have to wait till there's a driveway or a house or yeah. something that you would be able to drive into yeah and then drive back out. so if you are wider than us or literally the eight feet in, like can't make it through you would literally have to just back up yeah. the whole way until you have an opportunity to back into somebody's driveway which again isn't for a few blocks yeah. um or just turn out of there yeah. So and we, we um, uh oh, I don't know what to say. Okay, well we made it out all right without a single scratch on the RV. I was very happy to get out of this. At this point, I wanted yeah. to get out of the truck and take a picture of how it looked on both sides. Here we go. We got, <laughs> so we got lucky there. that Angie actually decided in her panic and this is her dedication to vlogging <laughs> in her panic she also thought hey i'm gonna record this you know yeah. um but there was there was enough space for us to drive through there just fine um but man it was it was scary it was challenging to like not like completely like blow my top and like start <laughs> cursing and i can see her frustration out there because she's like throwing her arms up and then back down, you know? She was super frustrated with me not turning, but I was just like, oh my God, I'm gonna fall. Oh my God, I'm gonna fall. Which didn't make any sense. After the fact, I was like, I should have just turned. But yeah, it is what it is. So yes, trust the person outside navigating you. Don't trust GPS. Don't trust Karen. And I think it's a lesson learned for Angie. Because <laughs> Angie trusts Karen. Hopefully after this, she'll start questioning Karen a little more. Well, I do like the new feature. That's only in selected cities. Oh, there's a new feature. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Well, if you enjoyed watching this little insane video of our routes, um, a big mistake, please give us a big thumbs up. Let me know down below, would you have pushed through like we did? Would you have just reversed and backed up until you could get out of there? Well, that would, have, um, that would be, do you have a choice? Because yeah. if you're bigger than eight feet, you got no choice but to back but up. To back up. Would you have listened to those signs <laughs> prior to getting there telling you there's an eight foot yeah. bridge coming up ahead? Yeah, I really thought that there would have been a road that you can turn off before it hits there, you know, like last chance. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, if you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Lou already told you what the next video is going to be. We were on our way from Columbus to Whitney. So stay tuned for the Lake Whitney Thousand Trails campground tour and the next vlog and then all the activities we did over there. See you later, guys. Bye.